Welcome to the channel The Practical Study. Guys, today we are going to discuss what is continuity equation and also we will simulate its simulation. Before moving ahead, it is to request you please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Continuity equation states that if there is a pipeline, then flow rate within the pipeline should be the same at each point. Let's suppose we have a point 1 and we have a point 2. Then according to the continuity equation, the flow rate should be same at point 1 and 2. This is the formula of flow rate. Flow rate is equal to area multiplied by velocity. So, according to continuity equation, at point 1 and point 2, flow rate, flow rate should be same. That means, Q is equal to A1V1, that is, flow rate at point 1 must be equal to the flow rate at point 2. So, A1V1 is equal to A2V2 is the equation of continuity. One thing which is need to notice is that area is inversely proportional to velocity. How? We will just simulate and understand. For example, we have a pipeline which is getting reduced to a smaller pipeline size. And suppose we have a point P1 and point 2 P2. Now according to the point continuity equation, the flow rate should be same at point 1 and point 2. But one thing which is need to notice is area at point 2 is much lesser than area at point 1. And then the velocity at point 2 should be higher than the velocity at point 1. Let's simulate this. How is it possible? Suppose a water molecule moves in larger pipe then its speed will increase in smaller pipe that means velocity will increase in smaller pipe as compares, compared to larger pipe. If water flows from this pipe then notice its speed. Its speed is slower in large pipe but higher in small pipe. But the flow rate would be the same. Let's consider a practical example. Suppose we have a pipeline of dia 1 meter with initial velocity 10 meter per second and pipe reduce to 0.5 meter then what will be the final velocity? So what data we have given? V1 velocity A in this larger pipe is 10 meter per second radius of larger pipe half of diameter is equal to 0.5 meter radius of smaller pipe will be half of the diameter of the smaller pipe that is 0.25 meter what will be the velocity in smaller pipe according to the equation of continuity a1v1 is equal to a2v2 now putting the values before putting the values we need to Calculate area A1 and A2. A1 is equal to 3.14 that is value of pi multiplied by square of R1. So what is R1? 0.5 meter. Putting the values we get the area A1 0.785 meter squared that is area of larger pi. Now area of smaller pi. 3.14 multiplied by R2 square. So what is R2? That is 0.25. Because this pipe diameter is 0.5 meter. We divide by 2 then 0.25 meter is the radius. So we get the area of smaller pipe 0.196 meter square. Now putting the values in continuity equation. 0.785 multiplied by 10 is equal to V2 multiplied by 0.196 Solving this equation, we get V2 40 meter per second. Now,
Now you notice that in smaller pipe velocity is 40 meter per second while in larger pipe velocity was 10 meter per second. That means velocity is increased. So this was our today's video. I hope you guys like this. If you like this please share in your comments.